here I'm swapping out the fuel pressure regulator for an adjustable one. Alright guys, so this is the XFI camshaft from Comp Cams. Let's see, uh, 236, 248 intake exhaust. So I checked my piston to valve clearance and from what I'm seeing looks like we've got plenty. We could go right much more lift if we wanted to. As you can see right here the intake valve just barely touches the play-doh and doesn't touch at all over here on the exhaust side. Um, with these hydraulic lifters I used my dial indicator here. I set it up on the block and uh, put it on top of the spring and use that to make sure I was getting the full 579 thousandths of lift that uh, I'm supposed to get with this cam. So I think we're good to go on our uh, piston to valve clearance so we're going to continue on. And I, and I did this test without the head gasket on there so that's another 41 thousandths clearance that I have that I don't need. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, heads mounted up on this thing and continue on. Guys, we have to weld these guide plates. Let's try to weld them and not screw up. So a lot of people online say. You should really tack them and then pull them off and weld them. Well, if you do that, they're going to warp while they're on the table. And then these hardened plates, my gosh, when you go to tighten them back down, they're going to crack and bust. So I think they were mostly talking about MIG welding, though, with all the spatter from MIG weld. So that's why we're TIGging. 
Tig creates no spatter. Nice clean weld. And the aluminum head, I mean, it's already cool to the touch right here where I welded it. I don't think there's any chance of overheating anything with this big chunk of aluminum here to suck up all the heat. Get the rest of them done. Alright, got them all welded. That wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Luckily with the lift you can adjust the thing and get it the right height so it's very easy to weld and get it right where you need it. The hardest part was dragging all this welding over here. Alright, here I'm working on the oil baffle for the driver's side valve cover. Um, it does hit right there where the oil baffle was, so I'm going to grind all that material away. The passenger side valve cover, believe it or not, fits even without the gasket. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos coming up real soon. We'll get this car put back together and get it back on the dyno.